there are different states of a game. In menu screen, the physics and particle systems are not being used. And what if the user is playing our game on mobile and he decides to switch our app and then resumes? We must anticipate these scenarios. It is not efficient to use all the systems at all times. For our menu, we use the main state with which we start the game. As we start the game, we must declare a variable that is holding our current, current state name. In setup states, we have three states, main, level, and paused. In main state, these systems are not being used, hence paused. And these systems are being used, therefore they are unpaused. And in level state, all of these systems are being used, that's why they are in the unpaused list. And in the paused state, all systems are paused, that's why they are in the paused list. As we load our level, we set the game world state to level. And then we set the we change the self.current underscore state variable that is keeping the string name of our current state to level. We add on pause and on resume methods for our app. So if the user switches between our app and other apps, our app will be restored on resume. As the user pauses our game, this on pause method is called and triggers the our test game method pause game. This pause game changes the game world state to pause that pauses all the systems. And when user restores our game, the onResume function gets called and triggers our resume game function. That changes the game world state to the state name this self.current state is holding. So if the user pauses the game at main state, the main state will be restored. And if he pauses the game at level state, the game will resume at level state. In our next video, we will explore the ways to make our device stay awake while our game is running and interact with Android API to make the mobile device vibrate and we will also traverse through Kevin's sound manager.